Uh, the first presenter is uh, Dr. Ken Omori. The title of his talk is Control of Atrop Isomerism, Enabling Efficient Synthetic Access to Natural Products. Please. Thank you very much. So uh, it's a great uh, honor to participate in this memorial symposium. So first of all, I'd like to express my thanks to the Professor Yamamoto and Dr. Suzuki, and also organizing committee of the Banyu Foundation. So uh, MBLA is a really wonderful award. So actually, it's a, a company lecture tour gave me a very, very uh, exciting experiences. So in a limited time for this presentation, I just show you only one topic of our recent progress of uh, natural product synthesis. So uh, I'm particularly interested in a uh, chemical transformation of the organic compound, which are all too often needed for the natural product synthesis. So among various stereochemical rules, it's difficult to handle this, uh, elements, so Central clarity is, of course, most common and well studied. But uh, other uh, color scaffold, uh, such as axial and planet, and also helical stereochemistry, also play the key roles in the organic transformations. So, also uh, this uh, direct interconversion between the, these uh, chiral elements is uh, chemically not so easy and uh, synthetically not available. But uh, uh, such a process would help to solve the some of the difficulties in the natural product synthesis. So one of the uh, key uh, uh, features of this chiral compound is atrop isomerism, which generally uh, arises from the restrict rotation of the single bond like this. So uh, <coughs> this uh, stereochemical stability definitely depends on the, uh, its uh, chemical structure as well as their uh, substitution pattern. So uh, this type of compounds uh, sometimes uh, suffer from the stir mutation. And so this uh, dynamic behavior sometimes make a kind of confusion between the concept of configuration and confirmation. So uh, Professor uh, Ork defined very convenient criteria. So if half-life of the stereochemical uh, entity is longer than the 1,000 seconds, that can be uh, separated and handled as a stable atropa isomer. Okay. So uh, you can see uh, uh, many, many uh, stereogenic centers in these molecules. But if you look at this in detail, you may recognize uh, uh, some of other chiral elements. For example, the sir, helicity and actual stereochemistry, also a prana stereochemistry. So today, I just show you the one case, uh, it is uh, cavicularin. This compound is isolated from the uh, rare riverwort species, Zenigoke, uh, reported by uh, Professor Asakawa, who uh, uh, reveals their unusual uh, structures. Uh, this compound is uh, one of this uh, uh, by benzyl related natural product, which uh, constitutes uh, an unusual uh, polycyclophen skeleton uh, coupled with a highly strained uh, macrocyte core and highly bent benzene ring. And very interestingly, uh, this compound displays their uh, optical activity are with the no stereogenic centers. So it's a stable atropoisomerism, maybe uh, coming from the combining structure of axial stereochemistry and prana and helical stereochemistry. So 
in view of the synthesis, how do you make uh, this strained core and also uh, control of its uh, atrop uh, stereochemistries? Here uh, you see a hypothetical load for biosynthesis. So putative uh, precursor is uh, Rikelzin C, which is also natural product isolated from the same origin as that of the cavicularin. Uh, this compound undergoes uh, oxidate transannulation, directly forming uh, this uh, macrocyclic core. Inspired this uh, hypothesis, Haruvin and co-workers uh, demonstrated uh, similar conversion. So they uh, carried out the radical mediated transannulation to form this strained core. And they uh, have completed the first total synthesis of this natural compound, albeit in the racemic form. So uh, this uh, conversion uh, is a very uh, straightforward and effective. But uh, under these conditions, a uh, uh, sizable amount of the re uh, simple reduced compound are obtained. In, and uh, preparation of this uh, polycyclone skeleton itself difficult, uh, maybe due to uh, its ring strain. So, uh, in addition, uh, we identified uh, one more uh, very uh, difficult problem. So, uh, at the transannulation stage, the stroke chemistry of the product reflect from the atropismerism of the distorted material, but uh, this compounds undergoes a faster uh, stroke mutation by D-ring rotation, which uh, falls into the uh, undesired enantiomer. So, the two major problems, I mean, the uh, construction of a strained core and also control the atom isomerism is highly relevant and coming together in a single stage. So, these uh, features is synthesis very, uh, makes this uh, synthesis very difficult. So, how do you overcome these problems? Uh, <coughs> uh, famous first word are uh, saying, so great difficulty is, should be divided into the small pieces to solve it. So what should we do to realize it? We came up with an idea. So that is uh, symmetrization and asymmetrization uh, trick. The key is uh, addition of the uh, OX function onto the D-ring in the Rikazin core. So uh, the molecule uh, become a chiral. And the, the rotation of D-ring will be restricted uh, due to the double uh, substitution pattern. Afterwards, discrimination of two OX functions by any means would include a stable uh, pranastro chemistry here. And the following uh, manipulation uh, inducing the uh, trigger for, uh, for transannulation. So this transannulation uh, stage should be uh, proceeded via the stereo specific. So based on this strategy, two major uh, problems are uh, uh, separated in the individual stages. So accordingly, uh, we uh, first prepared the, this symmetrized uh, polycyclic skeleton. So uh, we expected the SNL reaction uh, to form this strained core. So reaction trajectory will be favorable uh, to communicate to reaction centers leading into the, this Meisenheimer type intermediate. 
where the uh, temporary generates the SP3 carbon reduce its ring strain. But the uh, foreign uh, process uh, would increase the ring strain, but which can be uh, cancelled by uh, energy stabilization for aromatization. In addition, we uh, thought that the uh, introduction of the electro weathering group adjacent to the fluorine atom is highly helpful to proceed this cyclization reaction. Okay, let's see the uh, uh, result in detail. The preparation of cyclization precursor uh, starting from uh, this with the, this uh, uh, sealing fragment and uh, the, the fragment was uh, coupled followed by uh, Fornan Emmons reaction and that image uh, reduction uh, giving uh, this cyclization precursor. Where the uh, surfing function was incorporated as a SNLI uh, auxiliary. The cyclization proceeds uh, pretty well when I take this uh, with the uh, cesium fluoride and uh, uh, calcium carbonates and the heating conditions are uh, giving uh, this uh, strange uh, polycyclophane core in an uh, excellent yield. So uh, we now arrive at the symmetry breaking stage. So one possible approach may be use of the chiral catalysis or enzymes. But uh, uh, we became more interested in a uh, uh, diastereo approach uh, because the uh, chiral elements are already in incorporated in the, this portion. So uh, chiral information of sulfoxide uh, may be uh, transmitted to the, this prana stereo chemistry. So we examine there are group selective cleavage of the mom groups by using uh, uh, Lewis Ashed. After experiments, we found that the use of the tin bromide is uh, optimal uh, for this purpose, They're giving uh, this uh, atrope isomer in 82% yield. So this uh, stereo uh, selection uh, could be uh, rationalized by uh, directing the effect of the, this sulfoxide. So, Assuming the local uh, conformation of the sulfine function, most compact uh, lone pair locates coplanar to, to this benzene ring. And uh, as a result of the A ring rotation, two major uh, conformation should be considered. This conformation can coordinate this curation. So one of mom groups are selectively uh, activated and preferentially removed. But in our other uh, conformation, this uh, key uh, sulfonyl function were far from these reaction centers. So uh, relative stereochemistry of the product was uh, determined by uh, X-ray uh, analysis. You can see a uh, local uh, conformation of the, this uh, sulfonyl function. The wrong pair uh, co locates coplanar to the benzene ring. Okay, uh, we move to the uh, uh, trigger uh, co incorporation. So, sulfine function was detected via the sulfur lithium exchange followed by protonation. So, resulting the phenol was uh, converted to the amino groups via buffered amination and hydrolysis. And for in uh, auto-iodination and deamination lead to the, this desired iodinate compound ready for transannulation. Very luckily, uh, during uh, this uh, process, no stereo mutation occurred. So uh, we arrive at the final stage for uh, transannulation. So uh, 
under the uh, modified uh, in the conditions, uh, uh, we did uh, a stir specific reaction to form this compound via radical red uh, generation and uh, transannulation. So, <coughs> we uh, obtained uh, this uh, compound in 78% uh, yields. Now, finally, all protecting groups was removed uh, by using the BBR3, giving a final product. And after recrystallization, we obtained uh, a natural pure or the final compound, which is uh, uh, antipod of natural compound. It's a very uh, luckily for us. So maybe uh, because the uh, antipod was never obtained from nature. So uh, today uh, I just show you the, uh, only an example and the stereo chemical relay uh, starting from a central chirality on a sulfur atom. And uh, it's uh, induced a planar chirality in the cyclophan system. This compound was converted to the atrop isomeric uh, compound like this. So another, ty another type of transformation is uh, our study in our laboratory. So finally, I'd like to thank to the Professor uh, Asakura and uh, Hashimoto in Tokushima Bury University, giving us the very uh, valuable information for natural compound. And also thanks to the, uh, my colleagues. So actually, uh, this uh, work, uh, was done by the part of the, his uh, PhD thesis. So <coughs> finally, uh, I, uh, I, I thanks again to the uh, organizing committee. I thank you very much. Thank you for showing us nice strategy to control the